Let's do a barnyard scene today. I'm going to do a different type of sky. I'm going to take one of my medium pouncers with teal and white and just bounce in this texture all the way across the top half of my painting for the sky. It's really cool. If you go back in with white then and blend a little bit, you get the texture of clouds, almost more like a rustic sky background. Then I'm going to take a mop brush with some dark green. And when I say dark green, I mean mix a little bit of black into it because we're going to do the underpainting for our grass. Back and forth strokes all the way to the bottom and then dry it for this next step. This is gonna take a little bit of patience this time, but we're gonna take our fan brush with dark and light green and do grass all over the bottom half of our picture. Always pooling up using the wide way of your uh, fan brush. And then you just keep doing this motion over and over. Never go from top to bottom or your grass will look upside down. And some people always ask me then, why does my grass look funny? And that usually means you don't have enough. So keep filling it in. And if you have any bald spot spots, make sure you fill those and you can keep blending until you have a full barnyard of grass. There we go. And then dry it because we're going to start our barn. Let's start with the roof. I'm going to do a wide kind of arrow in the sky. That's going to be the tip of your roof. And then give it two wings where the overhangs would be. Just like that. Then where those meet, I'm going to do two lines going down into the grass. It's up to you how tall your barn is, but start there and go all the way down into the grass. And then take a medium round brush with dark red paint and do vertical up and down strokes. I'm not being too particular with them. Don't worry if they get into the brown a little bit. Um, and if you have any holes, that's okay. I'm just going to keep filling it in. But then I'm going to go back in with some tan then. And then... When you do that, don't wash your brush, but just start piecing in some of that tan. You can fill in all the holes you had, blend it a little bit. Don't blend too much because you want to see both shades of color, but it gives it almost like a wood, rustic barn look. Little highlights and shading there, dark red and tan. And if you do too much tan, you can always go back in with some red and blend it just like that. That is a simple barn. And I'm going to take some dark brown, do the side of your barn, just do a little chunk of brown on that one side. You can fix up your roof then. Then I'm going to take a little bit of brown and make a little bit of a triangle there, do some white at the top of your roof. There we go. And it's up to you how much detail you use, but I'm going to do a detail brush and do some lines holding up those overhangs. You can even do some cross hatches to make it look like a fence. Now, don't forget the window. I've seen so many different barns, but I'm just going to do a square at the top of my barn, fill it in with black. And I'm going to take some black and do kind of a black box for the doors underneath it. Do a line in the middle and two X's in those. Uh, those are just kind of the patterns on the barn. And then white makes it stand out. So I'm going to outline those barn doors with white. And don't forget the window. I'm going to do a plus sign in the window and outline that with white as well. That's a simple barn. Then I'm going to take my medium round brush again and you do a tree. Now I just did a tutorial on how to do branches. So if you did not watch that yet, I suggest going back and watch because it shows you how to do detailed branches and make sure you're doing them in a V shape, not coming straight out from the tree. And don't forget a highlight with some tan on your trunk. Now the bottoms of trees always look a little funny and so do barns. So I'm gonna take my fan brush and just add a couple little grasses in front of of them like that. Then I'm going to take the sea sponge with dark and light green and add some leaves. I'm just going to bounce in some of these leaves on top of my tree. You can even add a little bit of dark yellow just because the trees are starting to change. I'm so excited for fall. And some might have fallen off the tree, so don't forget to bounce in some at the bottom. Let's do a fence. I'm just going to take some tan and brown with lines going up to the barn like that. And then a detail brush. I'm just going to do a line of tan going across there. Let's do two of them, meeting the barn. And that's a simple barnyard. You can even add some wildflowers. I'm taking some yellow on my sponge and bouncing some in the grass as well. And there is a simple barnyard scene, a little bit more complicated than the other ones, but I, like I said, so many people have been asking for it. So let me know how it goes. Have fun.